Hello guys, hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for the exams like CFA, FRM and SCR. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to one of my students who has been able to clear the SCR exam in the October 2023 attempt. And she's going to be talking about her journey of preparing for the exam, the challenges, the unique challenges which she faced during the entire preparation. So Sheta, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us. And if you can just give a brief about yourself to the audience before we start the conversation. Okay, thank you. Thanks for having me here. Um, and yes, uh, so my name is Sheta Goswami. And uh, my experience is coming mostly from uh, model risk management. So my overall experience is 6.5 years. And I have been working on model validation and development, specializing into credit risk models both regulatory and non-regulatory. So uh, like scorecard models, stress testing, CCAR, IFRS 9. So this is uh, mostly my experience. Okay. And recently I gained uh, like um, I gained interest in climate risk uh, and I was doing research and then I thought to expand my skills and that's why I wanted to appear for SCR. Okay. And you're currently based out of Amsterdam. Yes. I just moved. Exam. Yes, yes. I just moved in. I actually had registered in India, but gotcha. I somehow had to had to come here. Uh, so it's just been seven months for me in Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, and yeah, and I appeared it from here because, you know, we can change our location. So it was not right. a, it was parcel free. Like it was easy for me. Not a problem. And you had initially started your preparation for the April exam. So you started right. 10, 15 yes. days before the exam, right? Right. So right. what happened in that exam? So the thing is that uh, as I my exam day, when I went for my exam, uh, you know, uh, th there is one, uh, uh, like when you start your exam, there, uh, before that, a pop-up box, box comes up for an NDA. So there, hmm. there's a list of uh, instructions there. So, you know, as I was reading the instructions, because I thought I won't uh, unread and and put do an okay. I wanted to read it. And, you know, my screen went blank. Okay. And it said me that my exam, uh, uh, like my exam has been cancelled. Right. And, and you know, I rushed to the uh, center who was there in the center, like who was managing the exams. And hmm. she told me that it has happened with a couple of people. But, you know, they have come back the next day because they reported it to the GARP and the Pearson View, hmm. customer care. And for me, the bad thing was that I had chosen the last day of the exam in the April cohort. Yes. Okay. I I did not have the next day. Luxury option. of the next one day to come and give the exam. Yeah. So automatically yeah. you got transferred to the next October exam. Yes, but I had to give a call. I had to talk. I have to I had to explain. So they understood right. my problem, and then my exam was uh like uh rescheduled to the October okay. exam. Okay. So, yeah. Now when you had gone for that April exam, were you completely yes. prepared, or with your confidence on your preparation? But if I compare my preparation with October, <laughs> I would say no, my preparation was not up to the mark because so, this time I I took more measures to prepare myself. And it was thankfully. only ten, and it was only 10, 15 days preparation at that point. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now when when the exam got cancelled and did you took a break in between and then started yes, again? I, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I definitely took a break because, you know, um, I changed countries. That was a big change. So, I, and also I, I'm working. So, I, I don't, uh, like, I have been working. Like, uh, so I, I did not get time to prepare in the middle. But yes, I had uh, timelines in mind. Like, when should I start preparing again? Right. Yeah. And so, when did yeah. you start it again, preparing? I started from uh, September, I would say. September, I started. Okay. Yeah. And from that time, how much time you were dedicating every single day? Right. So in the September, I was dedicating only the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then from October, I made it a point that I at least put in two hours every day till my exam date. Okay. And you were just, you were yeah. going through the content and then solving the question back. Right. So my approach, you know, in in the September, my approach was like, I will read the book thoroughly. Okay. So I, I want, and, and uh, since I had the GARP SCR uh, test papers, so mm -hmm. by now I understand like how the questions will be. First, I was just blindly reading it, 
but now i was able to identify what questions can come from the uh, sections right. so i read the i read the chapters and then i was solving the chapter quizzes uh, simultaneously like okay. i will i fin- i finish one chapter and i solve the ca- chapter quizzes like from the fin intelligence app like i solved all those four and Achha, then i all four to... in one go yes yes i used to do that okay all four in one go and then i used to assess myself like how am i doing okay and you're going back to the concept which went wrong reading it again exactly okay, okay. yes 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 So yes. you completed in the same fashion for all the eight chapters. Yes. Then yes. you did one full revision again. Am yes. Yeah. And then went yes. for the mock papers. So fifteen mock right. papers and how, how many? So you solved all of our mock papers. Uh, so I first solved Gar by CR twenty three. Okay. Okay. Then uh, the twenty three. So at that twenty three, I had solved even in April, but I wanted to solve it again so that I assess myself how am I doing again. So of course it it got better. My my marks got better from April preparation for the twenty three, and then okay. I start started solving the mock papers. So I solved okay. mock one and mock four first. These two. What was the average score you were getting in those mocks? Uh, I think the first one, the mock one, I scored around fifty or fifty two, something around that. Okay, and garb garb sample paper. that that was very like uh, i would say i, I solved uh, it was around 70s 72 75 it was like that oh. it got that better yeah okay theek yeah. hai so and and so when you are solving the uh, some sample paper and mock papers you are getting good numbers you are confident at that point in time i think so but you know when i solved mock 2 and 3 somewhere i did not do good i did not do well okay yeah yeah okay. and did you read yeah. the op, uh, additional reading material that is uh, recommended uh, i did read them uh, just just i glanced it like i did not do a thorough reading i just okay. glanced through them because they are very yeah. lengthy actually so uh, yeah. reading each each material is a like 100 page so exactly yeah and practically you will not remember anything when you are uh, very close right, to the right. exam also and uh, when you went to the actual exam now in october this time nda you signed you accepted properly and then yes. you started solving so first half an yes. hour how was it um i think uh, you know i gave it a lot of thought like i even if i knew the answer like when when i was seeing i i was mm-hmm. confident that okay this will be right but you know i was giving sufficient time to every question like i was okay. thinking because because you know i just just thought i was just uh, putting my logical reasoning okay this can be it so I, i was taking time but i was slow actually in the first half an hour i was i was thinking and slowly uh, giving the answers okay so because, you, that, because you I, were getting the answer it was not very challenging uh yeah it was not challenging but yes there were few questions which uh, which uh, like which i did not read like some questions are of course out of the syllabus you know some questions are very logical you have to apply like your practical knowledge something right. like that yeah right. and then when you uh, so overall 80 questions you were able to manage in the given time there was no time crunch for you no no there was no time crunch for me okay. like i finished my exam 40 minutes before the exam because i wanted sufficient time to even go back to the questions like i i did not flag any questions i gave all the exa- uh, all the answers and then I, again i did, i did like from 1 to 80 like i i had to see in fact in my second revision i even changed two three answers which i was not sure about something like okay. that okay okay and then how many theory and how many were, were there any qual- calculation question in your exam yes yes there and, were uh, quite quite a few like around 4 to 5 maybe and they were very tricky or very easy no they were tricky i would say they were tricky okay cool there, there was one numerical question at the end like and, and those were related yes there's a case study and there were five questions belonging to that case study i felt okay. it was very very interesting like you know because you have to think a lot it was good like it was not straight forward but it was i i i was very interested to know the answers what are the right answers okay. let's see okay yeah. so now when you came out of the exam what was the number in your mind that i will get this much correct honestly i had no number in my mind okay and but you were confident regarding uh, your result i was result? somewhat somewhat confident somewhat yeah 
Okay. I know I did not I did not fare well in few parts. I just felt I could have done that better, but I felt that it was not that bad. I I can pass pass like I just felt. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, when the results are out, you have cleared the exam. What has been the reaction of people around you who have seen you preparing and uh, work? Say for example, your office colleagues. What has been the reaction of people around you? Yeah, they are very happy. Like uh, people are overjoyed. Like. It it actually it actually boosts my confidence as well, you know, because I have appeared for an exam after my masters, like okay. uh, so it boosted my confidence. And of course, people are happy; they are um, overjoyed. Like okay. Yeah. And now, if I ask you uh, three tips from your own experience, how to prepare for this exam? What would be that three tips? Yeah. So I would say first tip is to read the book. Like okay. the book is the bible. Like I will say, read the book thoroughly. okay once you do the first reading then you can solve the garp scr uh, 2023 or 2022 whichever because you know that uh, question paper will let you analyze where in the chapter you can focus there hmm. there are few parts which which are just there as an information but the questions won't be asked but hmm. there are portion which you will you will yourself analyze uh, where the question can come from okay 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 then you can solve the mock like i just feel um, solving mock and gart test papers has been very instrumental for me yeah and the average yeah. accuracy also when you were solving it was good around 50 70% in when you're solving the question bank yes around that yeah Achha. but when i was solving the chapter quiz it was not great because i had to go back and look into the uh, uh, concepts again so okay. since i did that maybe it helped me in my mock and gart papers okay wonderful wonderful i'm i'm very sure i mean shita this call this conversation is going to be really helpful for a lot of students who are going to prepare for the exam in the future and motivate them to go for the exam because you found you had a setback in the april yes. exam yes you could have easily mm-hmm. said i will not go for the exam but mm-hmm. you because reading again the same content preparing it, it takes a lot of effort Okay, so uh, you have taken that, and that result is out, and I'm sure this will motivate a lot of students who are going to go for the exam in the near future. So thank you very much for sharing your journey of preparing for the exam. Thank you. Thanks for having, and thanks to you and Fin Intelligence. Like I felt the mock papers really helped me. Thank you.